Hello to you my dear friend, welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry The ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God My dear friend, we believe one encounter with God is all it takes to change someone's life forever One encounter with God, my dear friend, can change your situation for the better And it can take you up to greater glories I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I greet you in the name of Jesus it's so good to be with you today, my dear friend, on another day that the Lord has given us by His grace. And by that grace, by the grace that is available in Christ, we shall keep going, we shall never be held back, we shall continue going from glory to glory, and nothing shall stop us. My dear friend, as I was praying, the Lord gave me a statement that I must share with you. And this whole video that we do today, this prayer session that we do, is going to be based on that statement. And this is the statement. Christ will change your attitude as you gain altitude. As we give our lives to seeking more of God, to pressing in to the deeper realms of God, as we go to greater glories, Christ will change our attitude. Christ will change your attitude as you gain in altitude. My dear friend, your altitude in Christ will determine your attitude. You see, my dear friend, because the way Jesus Christ our Lord is, the way our God is, He will not let us get into a place that we are not ready for. So even as we go to that greater glory, He takes us through preparation. And that preparation shapes our attitude. So even as we walk in the greater glories, we have the right attitude. My dear friend, I want to read from the Bible in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 5 in the NHEB version. It says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. When you follow the Spirit, even your attitude changes along with your mindset. It says, Set their mind on the things of the Spirit. Even as you set your mind on the things of the Spirit, your attitude changes. When you follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, your attitude will change. He will lead you in places where even your attitude will change. It's so essential that we allow God to work on us. It's so essential that we allow God to change our attitude towards things and towards life and towards other people and towards the way things work, my dear friend. It's so essential that we allow God to change our attitude as He takes us to a greater altitude. My dear friend, the Bible also says in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2, in the NHEB version, it says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what is good, what is well-pleasing, and the perfect will of God. My dear friend, as you get closer to God, as you seek more of God, as you read the Word of God, as you take more of the Word of God in, I've got my Bible in front of me, as you take more of the Word of God in, it will renew your mind. It will change everything about you, including the way you think, the way you perceive things, the way you do things, including your attitude. It's so essential that we have the right attitude, my dear friend. As you take more of the Word of God in, as you choose to pray, as you choose to seek God, as you choose to make sacrifices so that you can get to know God more, as you choose to put to death the flesh and pay the price to crucify the flesh, in times of prayer, in times of worship, in times of spending time in the power and the presence of God, your attitude and your mindset will change. God will change your mindset. He will change the way you see things, the way you do things. My dear friend, as your attitude changes and you are in a greater altitude, you will receive the blessings from God. My dear friend, I once saw someone who received blessing after blessing after blessing from the Lord. And can you believe what happened, my dear friend? Even though they received that blessing, they were still complaining. They were still in a place where they weren't grateful for what God had done. My dear friend, there was one thing that the Holy Spirit highlighted to me over there. Their attitude needed to change. Even as your attitude changes, your blessing and your promotion won't stop. It will keep on going. Because as you go to a greater altitude, your attitude changes. And your attitude will continue changing the whole time as Christ takes you up to a greater glory. But it will take something from you, my dear friend. It will take a sacrifice from you. It will take you saying, I am going to pay the price so that I can go up to greater glory. I am going to pay the price in prayer. I'm going to seek God. I'm going to spend time with God. I'm going to develop my relationship with God. And even as you do that, my dear friend, you will walk in a greater glory. 
Now, I want to go into a time of prayer with you, my dear friend. Let us pray so that God can change your attitude and give you the right attitude even as you are seeking Him, so that you will not give up before you receive your blessing. The attitude that we have is so essential, my dear friend. It determines whether we will press on and receive our blessing or give up. Your attitude as you serve God, your attitude as you pray, your attitude as you read the word, your attitude as you speak to the Lord and tell Him your problems, it determines whether you will receive or not. It's so essential that we have the right attitude. So even as we pay the price and we press on to the greater glories, the greater altitudes, let Christ change your mindset, my dear friend. In saying that, let us begin to pray, my dear friend. Take your cell phone, your device, wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can seek God, where you can pray without anybody disturbing you. And even as you go there, my dear friend, let us begin with some praises. Lift up some praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down. And God will change your life for the better, my dear friend. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our Lord. You are our God. You're the God in whom we trust. You're the God who comes through for us. Lord, when we need someone, we can run to You. When everyone else has left us, we run to You and You never leave us. Lord, we just thank You for that. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace that never runs out on us. And we thank you that even by that same grace, today we are receiving something new from you. Lord, we just give you all the praise. We give you all the praise, all the honor. We lift up your name, Lord. I lift up your name right here in the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry TV studio. And my dear friend lifts up your name wherever my dear friend is watching. Lord, I pray that you will take my dear friend to a greater altitude. And even as you do that, Lord, change the attitude of my dear friend. Lord, even in this time that we're praying, open up the greater altitudes to my dear friend and change the attitude of my dear friend, Lord. Lord, because we have to go through that molding process. In the same way, Lord, as you take my dear friend to a greater altitude, as you shape my dear friend and make them into the person that they need to be and you give them the right attitude, we give you praise for that in the name of Jesus. And we thank you that even as you do that, my dear friend is going to receive blessing after blessing. Oh, Father, just receive the praise. Just receive the honor even as we go into a time of prayer. You alone are worthy. And we honor you, God. We honor you. We honor your word. We honor the presence of your Holy Spirit that is in this place. We just praise you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence and the power of God is here so strong. And I know like I know, as we pray today, God is going to do something amazing. You see, my dear friend, some of the people who will watch this video, they're going through hard times right now because they're in a molding process. They're in a process of change. God is instilling certain values, certain mindsets, certain attitudes so that you can walk in the deeper realms and the deeper things. You see, my dear friend, the deeper realms and the greater glories are open up to you. As you make a choice to seek God, you can access them, but your attitude needs to change along with that, my dear friend. It's so essential that we have the right attitude. So even as we go into a time of prayer, when I begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me, I want you to think about that. We need the right attitude. And even today, as I pray with you, my dear friend, I want you to do two things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, lift up both your hands and just welcome the Holy Spirit wherever you are. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me today as I pray along with Evangelist Gabriel. Help me, work on me, mold me, change my mindset to see things in your way. And even as you change my mindset, change my attitude, because I want the greater glories. I want the greater levels. And I want to stay there when you give them to me. I don't want to come down, but I want to stay there and I want to go to even greater glories. Change my attitude so that I can receive as I pray. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want you to do as I pray for you, that your attitude will change to the right attitude that is needed. Comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God will bless you mightily. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear friend who is watching this video. I stretch my hand towards this camera and I pray, release the grace, release the anointing, that my dear friend will walk in the correct attitude as governed by your word. As my dear friend prays, as my dear friend seeks you, as my dear friend goes to a greater altitude, as that process happens of moving to a greater altitude, 
let the attitude also change so that my dear friend may continue receiving from you may continue experiencing breakthrough may continue walking in the right state of mind lord i pray today even as we pray together both myself and my dear friend i pray that you will give my dear friend the desire to read and study your word as my dear friend reads and studies your word start the process of changing the attitude to the correct one lord as my dear friend's mind is renewed let the right attitude come in lord i pray this in jesus mighty name and lord i pray for my dear friend wherever my dear friend needs help from you wherever my dear friend needs deliverance wherever my dear friend needs a miracle wherever my dear friend who's watching this video needs divine intervention Lord, I pray that you will move mightily and answer your dear son, your dear daughter's prayers who is watching this video. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. As my dear friend makes a choice to pay the price in prayer, to pay the price in worship, to pay the price in spending time with you, getting to know you on a deeper level, developing the relationship with you. Change my dear friend's mindset, my dear friend's outlook in life. And Lord, ultimately, let my dear friend become a happier person. I pray this in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name amen and amen hallelujah my dear friend our Lord is gracious now I want to speak a blessing over you I want to speak a blessing over you that you will go up to another level and you will not come down as the Lord changes your attitude may you be blessed going in and coming out may you receive blessing after blessing after blessing as you go to a greater glory and your attitude changes in line with the greater glory that you're walking in May you experience the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. May you experience what God can do. May you experience what the power of being positive and having faith in God is. May you experience God's blessing and God's breakthrough. May you experience God's deliverance working power. And may your family and your friends around you also be beneficiaries of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. For myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, until next time, Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.